Hi there, it's Elaine Fraze, Farm Family Coach. And why am I wearing Groucho Marx, whatever kinds of glasses with a funny nose today? Because I want to talk to you about having spring into fun on your farm. And this came as a result of a random survey that my husband got one year when a chemical company asked him, what do farmers need more of? And he's, his response was, help me find ways to have more fun on my farm. So today I'd like you just to focus a little bit about planting time, calving time, haying times coming, all kinds of the things that take our work time on the farm to think about how we can lighten up a little bit even just with fun props or things that we might do. So first of all, for yourself, one of the things I love to do for fun is to read. And here's a new book that I would highly recommend called Buy Back Your Time. Because time, of course, is a currency that we all need on farms. It's a polarity. We do this dance between work and play. And this is a great book by Dan Martell called Buy Back Your Time that you might be interested in. And for those of you farmers who don't have to read time to read, perhaps fun for you is podcasting, listening to podcasts or listening to books on Audible. Now, as a couple, one of the things we like to do is put on our bike helmets and go on our e-bikes because that's something now that is fun for us as we're aging and here's some of the barriers. Some of you will say, well, you know what? I'm too old to do that. Or my friends have all moved away. Or I don't have uh, the capability to do these things. But stop making excuses. Get yourself some of the right tools and start having fun doing things even just after supper or on Sundays or when, when it works. Where is it written that you only have to go to parties and have parties on Fridays? And that's another thing. Since the great pause, a lot of people aren't having parties. I had a birthday party for my husband in the middle of March, and he was thrilled just to have people over to talk and connect with that we hadn't talked with for a long time. So you might be just sitting around waiting, but if you want things to happen, many times I've said this, you also have to be intentional. So what is it you would like to do for fun for yourself? For me, reading, visiting, even picking up the phone, great concept, using this as a phone rather than just as a mini computer and connecting with friends far away, making plans for the summer, booking a campsite for a couple of days. Regardless of what you do, I want you to take responsibility for reaching out. As a couple, it might be having just an hour time uh, sitting down on the couch with a, a good cup of coffee and just working on where your state of the union is at, having fun planning what you're going to do on your time off when you block that time off on your Google calendar. Now I can hear some of you saying, oh Elaine, this all sounds way too easy or way too um, ideal. Don't compare your life on Instagram to what other people are posting. You do you and you show up as the best version of you. And in terms of family, most of my joy and delight is being in the sandbox with my grandkids. My three-year-old grandson now wants to walk around with me with clippers and help trim trees. So hopefully he'll be my little gardener and landscaper in the future. But kids don't get directions on how to play. They just play. And adults are just big kids in bigger bodies. And so I want to encourage you to be playing crokinole with your grandchildren, getting out the checker games, the skippo, the you know, the puzzles, whatever that looks like to you. My granddaughter is four years old and she's an amazing watercolor card painter. So I mask off the tape edges of watercolor cards for her. I've taught her how to tickle the brush and she makes beautiful cards for teachers and relatives and all kinds of things. But it's something that we've spent time together just having fun. Again, I'm Elaine Frey's Farm Family Coach, encouraging you to find ways to find more fun and spring into fun this spring on your farm, but also to ask yourself, what does fun mean to me as I age in place on this farm? See you next time.